Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing something I uh, haven't done in a little while, which is a uh, catch and cook. And for this catch and cook, I'm going to be doing green sunfish. And in this pond, green sunfish get pretty big, but there aren't too many in it. Because, uh, well, it's basically this mud hole right here. There aren't many fish in it, so, especially green sunfish. So, I'm just going to be looking for one, but of course I got the... Uh, little beetle spin there which is if you didn't know the best bait in the world pretty much for little fish but uh yeah let's see if we can get one and then we'll bring him back up to my house and cook him up all right run down here let's see if we can get one on the first cast fish in this little tiny dried up bed. We need to do a fish rescue. Uh, a little tiny bluegill or something. Oh, there's a ton of them in here. There's a thousand. Got something. Oh! No. They're literally like 60 under this rock. All these guys are little baby green sunfish. This is what I'm trying to catch, except these guys are way too small. There are these guys times like 10 in this pond, but it's gonna take me a while to save all these guys because they're just gonna die in that little mud hole. I think I'm gonna dig a trench out that attaches to the main pond, but I'm gonna have to get pretty muddy for that. So, go ahead and throw this guy in the main pond. But yeah, there's just like a thousand of them in here, like what, so I'll just put my hand in. Got one, little baby one. See, there's a little baby one. Let me stop. I just feel so many, it's kind of hard to catch. There's so many under here. Come here. Oh, got like five. Baby, put in there. A little bit of a bigger one. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna dig out a trench to save these little dudes. Gosh. I need to go get a stick, because I'm just gonna get covered in mud. trench right there and now all the fish can just swim out perfect hopefully we'll get a big rain because some of them might be too dumb all right guys i don't think i was recording but it just hooked up too yes it's a green sunfish dang he's a little bit too small actually no he's good enough yes i was hoping for one bigger so i think i might take two now oh shoot I just realized I didn't get anything to bring these guys home in. Guess I'm just gonna have to hold them on my back the whole way. Boom, there he is. Shoot! There are much bigger green sunfish in here, but I haven't got any in a while. I haven't had much luck at all, so I'm gonna keep this little guy. To go whack him in the head with a stick and then. Put him in something. Oh, I guess. All right, 
Alright guys, y'all can see how low the water is right now. Because these, all of these holes, as I'm just walking here, all of these holes are beds from like the former years, probably last year, from all of these bass and green sunfish. And now the water is down to there and the fish can't access it till like out there because it's so shallow. So, if it don't rain soon, I might have to make a video on rescuing all these fish and putting them in something else because I mean, they can't survive in this little puddle for much longer. Alright guys, no more luck with the green sunfish fishing, but I still do have uh, that one that I caught, so I'm going to ride on home on my bike and uh, kick this big old sucker up for y'all. Alright guys, I'm back at my house. Got this big old green sunfish here. Ready to fill it up with my new fillet knife here. Basically, what I'm gonna do, I'll get this a little bit closer so y'all can see. I'm just going to cut right down there, about to the fin, about right there, and then just start cutting along there. And I'm just gonna fillet this guy. I'm gonna take the skin off whenever I fillet it, you know, because there's several different ways to do it, so yeah. Just basically fillet them just like you would do a bluegill, about like that. And then you just start, I love this part, so satisfying. You just start cutting along the back there. You guys probably can't see it, but I'm sure you all have seen it before. It's basically the main way anybody would do this. And then right whenever you're almost to where it starts getting skinny where the tail is, you kind of cut through. Oh, he's pooping. Don't worry. Uh, he's dead, so it's just I'm squeezing poop out of him, I guess. And then you just poke it through like that. See the knife through there? And then you cut down there because there's a lot of meat on the tail. But you don't cut it all the way off because you're going to skin him like that. You'll see. And then, I like this part also, you just start cutting along in there, along where all of his bones are. And if you do it right, you won't have any bones like that. Perfect. Let me cut down here a little bit more. And then, if you did it right, you'll be left like this with the meat filleted here without any bones. And then, since you have the skin still attached here, you can kind of hold on to the fish's head like this. And then just kind of cut the meat right off the skin. And, yeah, it'll be perfect. Alright, so I'm at the place where I'm going to cook up these uh, green sunfish fillets. I did pretty horrible on all of them, but, you know, it's fine. And the way I'm going to cook these guys... So first, the tender to uh, get it started because I'm going to be using a fire steel flint striker thing, the bob, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using this as tender, which is basically this little fuzzy stuff, plant thing that I uh, got off of a plant by that pond where I caught the green sunfish. And it looks pretty flammable. It also looks like it's going to burn pretty fast. So I got quite a bit of it. There's like 10 pieces in here, and they're all about like that. It's just you can't really tell because I'm just squishing it all together. But yeah, I'm just going to throw that in there. And then I'm going to light it with this. And then I'm going to grab all these little dead sticks and throw them on there. And then once those light, I'll add some bigger sticks. And then I'm going to put this grate thing over it. Maybe like that. Actually, I'll probably like set it on top of the sticks. Or maybe I'll put these rocks. I don't really know. And then I'm just going to put these little fillets on, on it. Not use any spices or anything. Just cook it like that so I can get the full flavor because I've never uh, eaten green sunfish before, I don't think. So I'm going to go ahead and light these. My fire still expect it should light pretty quickly. If it doesn't, then this I'll have to just crumble up some leaves or something. But I think this is going to work. Let's see. One, two, three. Shoot. 
my finger is in the rope. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yep, got it. Really fast. Oh, dang. Light. That was way faster than I even thought. I'm pretty sure we got it, though. Gotta get those sticks to light and we'll be good. Alrighty. Pretty sure we got it. Alright guys, got the fire ready here and I got the grate on. It's basically going to be right on the fire so these may get burnt a little bit, but I don't really care. I'm going to throw them a little bit off the fire move though right there. Yeah. These little guys should cook pretty fast. And what I did, I kind of made them into little fish nuggets. So there will be like five different little pieces of these guys. Yeah. Hopefully they'll taste good. Alright guys, I went ahead and took off the fish and put out the fire because it just cooked so fast and I got this little piece here this little fish nugget it's pretty black pretty burnt on the outside but inside it's nice perfectly cooked uh, white meat so I'm gonna try and get in there and try and get some of that white meat inside and uh, yeah see how it tastes hold up I need to get bigger bite It really doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like any other fish without any seasoning on it. I mean, it's, it tastes good, but basically just tastes like a bluegill or bass to me. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but got a bunch of scales. <coughs> Apparently, I didn't skin this one very well. But, yeah, I'm going to end this video here gonna finish eating this one probably and get the good ones out of there some of them just got completely burnt but that's it for this video guys hope y'all enjoyed it there will hopefully be plenty more catch and cook soon I'm hoping to do either a crappie catch and cook or a um, what's it called crawfish catch and cook next but yeah look forward to those See y'all on the next one.